Hey, I'm Matt Bennett, and I'm going to react to some of Robbie's cringiest moments on Victorious. Ah! Hey, Trina. Excuse me, move, please go now. <laughs> move, please go now. Oh, wait, don't, don't go, I'm not with Oh, I cringed, oh my God. Something about him like psyching himself up and then kissing Trina. Ooh, yeesh. Starting off strong, way to go. You got a cringe out of me, you actually did. <laughs> I like going on subreddits for cringe, but I don't know how it can get much cringier. I'd say that's a that's pretty much like a seven and a half or eight. I don't know, I, I wanna give room just in case, but I actually cringed. So that's saying something. Standard international hand bone rules apply. Uh -oh. <laughs> Call it. Quarter. That's a good joke. Yeah, we know it's a quarter. I certainly did have to learn how to do this, and there were ham bone classes that I took. They brought in a specialist to teach me how to do it. Who came up with this episode? Wow. It's more serious than one would imagine. There is room for error, as evidenced by Robbie's uh, unfortunate accident. Oh, oh, yeah. It's a tough one, but maybe not cringe. I think it's it was impressive up until the end. Robbie had to do it. He had to push himself further than he was comfortable, and uh, you know I think he grows from the experience. So I give this a oh, two on the cringe scale. I respect him more for this. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I don't think it's fair to say we're addicted to them. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> then I challenge you all. All right, let's fight. <laughs> Not cringe. Fight. I would do that now. I went through a phase where uh, I thought taking off my shirt was very funny. I think it's very funny that I, that Robbie was challenging Psychowitz to a fight. Zero out of 10 cringe. That's just good stuff. I'm comfortable in my body. I'm proud of it. I'm gonna drink that filthy water. No, 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 no. Don't do it, Robbie, don't do it. What choice do I have? <laughs> wow. It's his call. Robbie did what? You see my glasses fall off my face and sink to the bottom? <laughs> That's my bag! <laughs> Don't drink the fish water. Don't drink the fish water. <laughs> <laughs> I like that scene. I don't think it's cringe. I'm gonna give it like a three and a half, mostly because of my haircut. I think that's the cringe. I don't think that my hair could possibly get bigger than it is in this particular scene. It is like, it looks like the Liberty Bell. It's like, boom. It's so bell-shaped. I think that's the real cringe. Why am I, I get asked about this scene a lot. The snot was the same stuff that slime is made out of. It was the same thing, just colored. You know, the food dye was different. So um, at the time, I think it was still season one, I had not been slimed. And uh, I kind of was like, hey, you know what? Let's say Victorious doesn't make it a season two. At least I was technically slimed on Nickelodeon. <laughs> Spoon first. Ooh. Yikes. So that is not real mayonnaise. It was vanilla pudding. So I'd say this is not cringe. I give it a zero out of 10. Oh. Hey. My, hey, there's my there's little, little blood, blood angel. angel. I love that line. It's like I'm holding liquid you in my hands. Oh, okay. That's cringe, that's weird. Oh, sweet. You know if you hold blood up against the light, you can totally see all the... It's certainly one of the grosser scenes that I was a part of. It's obviously fake blood. We wouldn't do that with real blood, but I'm not a blood guy. I don't like seeing it. I don't like getting it, my blood taken. So yeah, pretty gross. Give that a six. Looks like you posted a new video. Oh, I love this. Play it! Hey there, Is this... slapperoos. Well, I promised everybody that when I hit 600 followers, I'd give myself a okay, this is a little cringe. makeover. And since I hit 600 followers this morning, here you go. It's your 
follow me? I'd follow me. Wow. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. So that is a Silence of the Lambs parody. It's a classic horror film. It's more of a psychological thriller. You know, listen, Victorious people now love making videos where they go, did you catch this adult reference? Personally, I wouldn't have it any other way. I think that they're funny and hilarious and having something like that to react off and be like, oh wow, that's, that's a weird deep cut. I don't know, but it is kind of cringe. It's a little weird. I give it a five. Good job, Nick Rewind. You made me cringe. That was me reacting to some of Robbie's cringiest moments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.